हेलो गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स सो फॉर योर ई वी एस क्लास थ्री स्टैंडर्ड ई वी एस राइट नाउ द चैप्टर इज गोइंग ऑन चैप्टर फोर्टीन व्हिच इज फ्रॉम योर पोस्टमिट सिलेबस आफ्टर चैप्टर थर्टीन आर शेल्टर सो हाई द चैप्टर इज राइट नाउ गोइंग ऑन इट इज वेन द आर्थ शुक एक्चुअली द इंटायर चैप्टर ऑलरेडी यू नो इट इज बेस्ड ऑन द डिजास्टर मैनेजमेंट और यू कैन से इट इज अप ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ आर्थ क्वेक सो राइट नाउ ऑलरेडी द इंट्रोडक्शन पार्ट इज ओवर ऑन इट लिटिल बीट पोर्शन ऑलरेडी बीन डिस्कस्ड सो आई एम गोइंग टू स्टार्ट द नेक्स्ट पार्ट ऑफ दिस टॉपिक और ऑफ दिस चैप्टर वाट विल यू डू पेज नंबर वन थर्टी फोर people from the groups also made children in jasma school practice what they should do in case there is an earthquake so actually from jasma school lot of students have made different different groups and they should do the practice in case if there will be an earthquake what kind of precautionary measures they should take during that moment on that basis they should do the practice this is what they said if possible leave the house and go to an open ground if such type of situation arises if you cannot go out of the house lie down under a strong thing like a table and hold on tightly so that it does not slip away wait until the shaking stops the shaking of ground stops at that moment you have to wait under the table next one question is given over here have you been ho- told in your school or anywhere else about what do you what to do in case of an earthquake once again i repeat have you been told in your school or anywhere else about what to do in case of an earthquake so the answer will be yes we were told in our school about taking some immediate actions if there is an earthquake we should go to an open area if someone is struck inside his house then he should hide himself under a table or other solid object to protect his head from the falling objects or materials next question is along with that why do you think one should go under a table during an earthquake once again i repeat why do you think one should go under a table during an earthquake the answer will be because during an earthquake people are more likely to get injured by falling objects or materials hiding under a table will help them avoid such accidents there is another story we have to or you can say another report about the vuj earthquake amedabad january 26 2001 at least a thousand people are feared dead in the earthquake that struck gujarat this morning so i'm talking about the morning of 2001 january 26 in amedabad at least thousands of people feared dead in that morning many thousands have been injured army jawans have been called to the into the help at least 150 buildings have fallen in the city of amdabad 
in these there are a dozen multi storied buildings by this evening around 250 bodies have been removed from these buildings just you can't imagine it is feared that several thousand people may still be trapped rescue efforts are on at that moment there is perhaps no building in the city which has not developed cracks the situation in vuj is even worse people are running around in shock or around in shock and panicked obviously this is very much general in, in thing people should get worried about that they should get shock with this disaster and get panicked within an hour of the earthquake the fire engineers or fire engines basically within an hour of the earthquake the fire engines had reached and started work along with the local people so local so many local people also started to help offers to help are coming from all corners of the country and abroad this is the report of vuj earthquake in 2001 january 26 with this part few questions are also there according to the tv report thousands of people were injured and some died in gujarat if the buildings had been made in a way that they would not fall in the earthquake would the damage have been different or how so the answer will be yes there would have been the least damage if the buildings were made in such a way that they would not fall in the earthquake because mostly people get injured or die due to the collapse of the houses and buildings next question is there at times like this when people have lost their homes and all their belongings what kind of help would they need at such times people would need food clothes shelters and medicines now next question is mentioned by here in such situations whose help would be needed and for what write in your notebook as shown here so in your book one example has given whose help will be needed mention number one dog how will they help it is also mentioned to smell out where people are lying trapped one more example i'm giving army jawans our rescue team and police in place of whose help required and how they will help you can write to take out the people from debris and take them to hospitals so this way you can add over your three four more whose help it is required there and their helpings means how they will help about that also you have to write so this thing or this part you have to do by yourself two examples i have given three or four more you have to add over here so now students like every day today also i am leaving or giving you four or five number of questions and this portion you have to do the answers by yourself question number 1 have you ever seen people in your area helping each other when question number 2 why do people live together in a neighborhood question number 3 imagine living in a place where there were no other houses or people around how would it be for example whom would you play with with whom would you celebrate festivals and special days would you be scared and last question number 
people face a lot of difficulties when they lose people from their family or their houses and belongings in newspapers of the last one month look for news related to such disasters earthquakes floods fire cyclones etc in different parts of the world collect these news reports and paste them in your notebook so these four questions you have to do the answers by yourself so today up to these students i hope you all have understand this part very nicely if you have any queries then tell me in my doubt clearing classes so today up to this thank you and we'll meet again